Nice. And there's the yeah, sign. That's an exciting yeah. evening. That's a cool sign. Thank you. I'll give you 20 bucks for the sign. Thanks, Jamal. Huh? 20 bucks? I'll give you 20 bucks to sit here and do this. I'll take that one. Doesn't she look marvelous? Show this to your grandkids. You're all set. Huh? She doesn't, doesn't grandma look great? Grandma. This one's grandma. <laughs> it's back in the year 2000. I know that's a long time ago. But look how cute grandma is. Grandma, this is before she broke all his hearts in Columbia. Yeah. <laughs> okay. There's Matt. Um, hey! This was, this was Matt's camera. Hey, nice glasses. You like those cat glasses? Was Matt's camera. Is this new? It would always be Matt's camera. No. Oh, this is, well, this is the one we traded in. This is the trade-in. <laughs> oh, God! Uh, all clean shaven and clean now. I know. Wow, look at that dog tail. Ooh, look at that. Isn't that cool? Ah. Oh, it's a Cyclops. No, it says... Admit one. one. Wow. Yeah. Look, at Look at that. Well, you have to be someone important, someone who uh, really has something big to do with the film. Jamie, the Fox rep, was passing them out to us. So. Oh. See, this is your mommy. You're in there. Hello. Hello. And watch, watch this. Go down here. All right. Oh, there you go. So this is back in the year 2000. That was a long, long time ago. This is mommy and daddy. <laughs> back in the day. Back in the good old at the movie, days. At the My movie arm isn't jiggling at the, now. At the movie premiere. Look at that. The premiere of the movie that put you through college. You're yeah. going you're gonna to be one damn good-looking baby. I'll tell you that much. Either, either, or, or really ugly. No. Really, really ugly. Are you all right? Good to see you. Wonderful. You? Yes. Sir. Traveling a lot. Look at you. Oh, he's a handsome man. Who's got the... Who's got the... I didn't get one. Where are they? Yeah, well, uh, you been working. Good to see you. It's fun, oh, well, humping, uh, humping away. Yes, I certainly have. You know, you know my wife, Lisa. Yes, I do. She's taking... Hello, Lisa. Hello, Lisa. What's video. your name? Hi. You want me to redo the Titanic scene? Yeah. Ready? <laughs> Ready? Put the hands up. By the way, we're only blocking. <laughs> this is my X-Men blimp, oh. <laughs> which means one thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is my X-Men blimp. That's my X-Men blimp. Or whatever. <laughs> All right, we should go to the back for docking. No, but I love this man, and I'm his biggest fan. And thank you. So, so this isn't just another special effects. Pardon me? This isn't just another no, special no, effects. No, no. No, this, look, the special effects are a given. Everybody does special effects. You pick up the phone and say, hey, I want a special effects expert. Get in there and do the effects. This is a movie. And he made it a story to tell, and he told the story, and he told it wonderfully. I'm a little bit jealous. I thought I was the storyteller. Okay. Which side am I getting out of? Um, Probably, I guess, I'll get off on his side, I guess. It's the first one I've done, ever. Oh, really? <laughs> it's pretty amazing.
so glad I won the contest. I got the gold. <laughs> Just like Willy Wonka. Uh, I'm really happy to be here. <laughs> Only four years of my life. <laughs> Please. Tom DeSanto is very sexy. Oh, now the video camera. Yeah, Rebecca was like, to, Rebecca was asking me all about my X-rays today and okay, my. See you later. Uh, nice very good to see you. you. Have you met Tom DeSanto? Yeah, yeah. By the way? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. James Marston. Funke Jensen. Tyler Main. Halle Berry.
Thank you. I'm very nervous because there's so many people. I feel like I should have a guitar and play music. But fortunately for all of you, I can't. Um, I just wanted to take this opportunity on behalf of the cast and the crew of the film to uh, thank uh, Marco and the uh, Locarno Festival for having us here. Vorrei approfittare dell'occasione per ringraziarvi a nome del cast e della tecnica, ringraziare il festival per averci invitato qui. I could think of no place more beautiful than to introduce the world to X-Men. Thank you. Non posso pensare a un posto più bello di questo per introdurre il mio film al mondo. Grazie. A fan. If you want to, it's to Karsten. C A R S T E N. Oh, how would you look if that just happened to you? Oh, honey, you look beautiful. I can do a night shot. It's very flattering, but night shot. Sexy. I like the night shot. Is there a flight to Los Angeles tonight? What? Is there a flight to Los Angeles tonight? <laughs> yes. On the roof. Like in Da Nang. Yeah. How come it looks like I never shave? I have like this permanent shag. This stubble? Begrüßen Sie ganz, ganz herzlich und ich würde mich freuen, wenn jetzt im Zinnedom ein bisschen die Decke wegfliegt. Hier ist der Mann, der uns X-Men bringt. Hier ist Brian Singer! Brian, uh, talking about this movie, it's a movie uh, concerning a step to the next uh, step of evolution. Uh, maybe talk a little bit about the meaning of the mutants, X-Men, the whole hype in the United States. Well, since 1963, when Stan Lee and Jack Kirby uh, created X-Men, as sort of uh, their answer to the American Civil Rights Movement in the means of a comic book, um, it, it has risen to popularity, it's been reinvented in the 1980s by Chris Claremont and other terrific artists and writers, and, and then in the 90s became a very, very popular Saturday morning cartoon in the United States. But it's always kept with it uh, more than just the fun and the fighting, but uh, underlying layer uh, of uh, about discrimination, about feeling outcast, fear of the unknown. And uh, I think it makes it just uh, it just makes it a little little more interesting, at least for me. It's of course uh, mainly an entertainment movie, also, and it's an action movie. I think it's a bit of both, but I, I don't really consider it an action movie. I consider it uh, more of a science fiction fantasy movie with some action in it. Here are the stars of X Men, Brian. I help you. You got the paper. I got the micro. Maybe I should hold because I um, I. Uh, 
I would first like to bring down uh, a gentleman who's been part of the film and, uh, and, and uh, who's one of the reasons the film exists and was made, and that is uh, the executive producer, Tom DeSanto. She's just learning, she's just growing. <laughs> Ray Park will be playing Toe, a departure from Darth Maul, but still equally as evil and with a much larger tongue. playing Storm this evening. She manipulates the weather and entrances you with her beautiful, if not completely white gaze, and her completely white hair. <laughs> Tyler Lane will be playing Sabretooth, the arch nemesis of the absent hero, Wolverine. So, uh, let's see, Tyler is very tall. <laughs> you, know, you haven't heard it yet. And last again, but not least, Patrick Stewart will be playing Professor Charles Xavier, teacher and father of the School for the Gifted in Westchester, New York. Powerful psychic, extraordinaire, and brilliant mutant. <laughs> So let's talk about Patrick. Um, talking about mutations or genetic uh, difference, is there something you would like to have as a mutation? Something you would like uh, to do to have? Well, I've already gone on record saying that I'd like to have Ray Park's tongue, and <laughs> I would very much, I would very much like to have Tyler's physique and the beauty of all the women here, and not least the beauty of some of our leading men as well, and our director, and not to forget, our distinguished producer, Tom. 